Did you know that some of the side effects of radiation therapy for cancer treatment can continue months or even years after treatment finishes? If you've had radiation to the pelvic area to treat your cancer, follow along with me in this video for four exercises to help improve and maintain your hip mobility and function. I'm Alex Hill, your physical therapist for everything pelvic health and oncology. I specialize in these areas. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for even more content on how to manage different conditions related to your pelvic health or your cancer treatments. Radiation therapy can cause fibrosis or a hardening and tightening of the tissues in that radiated area. This radiation fibrosis can continue to develop for months after radiation is complete. So it's important that you start working on your stretches and mobility early on and continue to work on them even after your treatment is finished to help make sure that you maintain your function long term. I'm going to guide you through four different exercises in this video, but before you start any new exercise routine, make sure that you get clearance from your medical provider first. If you're in active radiation therapy or within a couple weeks of finishing, make sure that you start in smaller ranges. And again, make sure that you check with your medical provider first. If any of these positions or stretches or movements cause pain or discomfort, stop doing them and back off. The first exercise is working the front of your hips. It's called a hip flexor stretch. For this first movement, we're going to be stretching the right side. So placing your left hand on the sturdy surface, you're going to bring your left foot forward, making sure that both feet are pointing straight forward. You're then going to tuck your hips underneath you, like you're tucking your tail under you. And then you may already feel a stretch at the front of your hip with this movement. And then if to get a deeper stretch, you're going to start to glide forward on that front knee. You should feel a stretch at the front of the hip here, and you're going to hold this for a minute. To get the stretch a little bit higher up, you can reach your right arm up and then bring it over to the side. If you're feeling more of the stretch in the lower calf versus in the hip, then really make sure that you're tilting your hips underneath you to put that muscle on tension to get that stretch as you come forward. After holding that for a minute, then you can go ahead, switch sides. So you're still supporting on the opposite side that you're stretching. Take that step forward tilt your hips underneath you, come forward onto that front leg. You should feel the stretch at the front of your hip. And again, to get a deeper stretch, lift that arm up on the side that you're stretching and then bring it away from that side. You'll feel that stretch come up a little higher up into the lower part of the abdomen. The second exercise is called a pigeon pose. You can do this modified using your bed or a couch, or you can go all the way down to the ground if you have that kind of mobility. All right, so to start with this stretch, you're going to stand in front of a couch or your bed, and you're going to bring the leg up that we're going to be stretching. This is working the outer part of your glutes. When you put your leg up, you want to make sure that the leg is at a 90 degree angle. You don't want it bent super duper tight. You want to make sure that you have some space at the knee. You're going to take a little step backwards if you need to, and then you're going to start to come forward onto your forearms. If that's too much, then you can start with just starting at your hands with your arms straight. Otherwise, if that feels like it's not as deep of a stretch, then go ahead down onto your forearms. You should feel a stretch in the outer back part of your glute, and you're gonna hold that for a minute. Gently come out of that, and then you can do the other leg. So again, you're going to bring it up. You wanna make sure the knee is at a 90 degree angle. And then you're going to slowly start to come down just to the point where you feel a stretch. So 
you, again, you may feel the stretch just getting into the position. That's fine. Just stay there and hold that for the minute. Otherwise, you can work your way down all the way to your forearms to get a deep stretch. The third exercise is hip internal rotation. For this stretch, you're going to start on your back, either lying on the ground or on your bed. You're going to start with your knees bent about hip width apart. The hip that we're going to stretch, you're going to bring that out wide from the other leg, and then you're going to let it fall inward. So you're going to feel a deep stretch into that joint. If you feel not enough of a stretch with that, then you can take your opposite leg and give a little bit of pressure over it to get a deeper stretch. If just doing that initial position feels like it's too much pressure and it's too tight for you, then you can take a yoga block and you're going to place it under the knee where it's going to fall in. So as it falls in, it's able to rest on that yoga block and help you as you start to get more mobile with that hip. With this stretch, you can hold it for about a minute or two on each side, and you can do this twice a day. If you want to work on both at the same time, take both legs out wide from each other, let them both fall in towards each other, and you can feel the stretch on both sides. The last exercise is a 90-90 hip stretch. So this last stretch, you're going to be sitting on your mat or on your bed. You're going to start by bringing both knees into 90 degrees and let them both fall to the side. So again, we're keeping that 90 degree angle with both knees and you're either going to kind of lean into it, you can lean backwards, find a position where you feel a good stretch into both hips you can either hold that for a minute, or if you need a little bit more movement with this exercise, hold it for about 10 seconds, and then you're going to rotate and go to the opposite side. So you're getting still that internal rotation on one side, external rotation on the other. Hold that again, either for a minute or 10 seconds, and then rotate back to the other side. You're just going to repeat this through that full minute of time. Again, with this exercise, you can also use the yoga block. So getting into that original position, you're going to sit into it, have that yoga block underneath the leg that's falling in that has a little bit more tension if you have some discomfort. That yoga block elevating it and your leg resting on it should help decrease any of that intense discomfort. And then when you flip sides, you're going to just use that yoga block on that opposite side. I hope you found this video helpful to help regain or maintain your hip mobility after pelvic radiation. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on pelvic health and oncology.